Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Karthik from IT Learn. Thank you so much for joining in uh, for today's orientation session. Uh, the idea team is to kind of go through the overall program of what we plan to do in the next five, six weeks and try and organize everything together so you get a better perspective of how you're going to participate along as well. So while we are aware team that there are a lot of topics that we will need to cover as part of our training program. And though I can divide them into different tool stacks and technologies, we will still have to go through them one after the other. So what I wanted to discuss today was how do we go about the flow of the program? Most importantly, with the reference to when we're talking about uh, all of these technologies, which one should we start at the beginning? Uh, what order shall we go? So that you are both learning, challenged and comfortable at the same time to uh, be able to go with the program as well. I also want to talk about live trainings in terms of what you're expected out of it and how you can plan your own schedules based on it. We will also talk about project work team. This is specifically for the JPAC members and members who are looking for, uh, you know, job placements. I definitely would want to talk about when do we meet for the project works as a team and how do we discuss further. I will definitely have a separate session for the projects uh, and the mock interviews and so on. That's for the job preparations. But for now, um, let's see how we schedule it. Live training. So team, you are aware of the schedule, correct? I'm putting it Monday to Friday. This should be for about five weeks, five to six weeks team. And it's a 6 to 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Today might be a much shorter session since it's an orientation. But once we get with the actual day one and so on, this is the schedule. So that is something that you'll have to take a look. If not, you would have the video hopefully uploaded uh, to our web within the first, within six hours, I would say, because we need to get it converted, downloaded, and put into our. Uh, CDN so that we can deliver that content across team. So that day does take time. But if you're not able to attend live, then you should definitely try and follow through the videos. Now, team, one of the prime challenges that you're all facing is with the video access. Uh, I know that some of the premium content uh, playlists are not working. And I'm working on them team, but just to let you know the kind of challenge that I have on it. There are uh, close to about 2500 videos in total. About 600 GB. All of which had been organized into playlists. About almost 378 playlists in total, each one referring to one training. And these are the ones that have been put into go.itlearn.com for your preparations. Now, what has happened is there was something that went wrong at the hosting side of DACAST, and all the playlists are now something that I'm not able to either change or edit. Alternately, what we're having to do, and that was the worst solution, but there's no other alternate for us is to download each and every video, reorganize it and re-upload it back into the ITLN website. That is the only way I'm able to get uh, some progress going on it. So I will work on it. There's someone who's already started doing the download and organizing. Hopefully within the first week team from now, we will have a lot of um, the core um, important ones like Selenium, UFT and so on uploaded and then I'll go keep going with the remaining ones as it keeps coming along. 
so that is the reason why none of these playlists are uh, correctly tuned and that is what we'll have to fix and work on team right now so i would say within the next 10 days all the content should be back online for us current live sessions videos should not be a problem because they will get uploaded directly all right uh what else and i know that a lot of you have membership that needs to get renewed i will send out the details based on your current memberships and so on what your details are uh, and we can plan on the renewal scheme at this point i want to go into the program flow and talk about what all we will get to in which order but before i do that let me check with the audience any questions that you have team at this point i definitely want to take as many questions as i can from you and so that when we are looking at this program uh, and i've been doing this training on automation testing for the last 12 13 years there's a lot of evolution that has happened in the industry the way we're using tools applications uh, right from you know automation at a ui level api mobile data be it functional or non-functional like security and performance how much of coding has become a significant portion of a test engineer's journey and also how we are doing all this execution in a continuous testing mode how we are working with the cloud deployment model and so on all of this becomes very very important team for us so when you look at these topics this is the first question that i have to everyone does the list of what you see uh more or less cover the majority of what are the job requirements that you come across on a daily basis are there any more that maybe i missed out uh that we may want to consider adding to this list out here think through keep letting me know on this please In the meanwhile, I'm going to launch a quick poll, everyone. This would help us to align as well to who we have overall. So you have a poll in front of you, team. This is about you, uh, primarily, which talks about your ex uh, experience level. You're someone who's a beginner in the industry or someone who's gone through a training program or someone who's currently working in the industry but here to upgrade skills choose one of these options please from the poll and i'll close the poll in the next five ten seconds and while you're doing that i have not got uh any responses yet for reconfirming the list of topics that I've listed out here? All right, I think we're good with the poll team. Almost 83 percent, 94 percent have voted in now. Let me close and share the results with you all. So, team, um, I'm assuming the results are visible for you on your screen. So we have almost half of the audience coming in as a beginner pressure. And uh, we have a few more about 18% who have again been trained. 35% of you are currently working, which also means that you're upgrading to specific skills. Maybe you are into more manual testing or you're a functional SME uh, at a test level in your project and you're trying to learn automation or it could be that you're learning specific areas that you're trying to focus on. So either way, the approach for this program will be team. I'm assuming that most of you are gonna be beginner levels. Please remember that 
anyone who's going through such a program you may require to repeat the entire effort of training practice project work mock interviews repeat it at least twice team the reason i'm saying it is let me hide the poll uh the reason i'm saying that is important is because even when any i mean any one of us when we start with something there's a lot that we have to explore so good part of what we do in our program is that you have a guided tour so you don't have to deviate much from our goal so we all stay focused however when you look at concepts and you jump from one concept to the other to the other there's a lot that you'll have to absorb so the second time when you repeat the whole thing that is when it sits well with you you'll get much more clarity as to why we are doing certain activities why is there uh, and how we are going about so those becomes clearer to you team so as a general expectation please give yourself at least two repetitions of doing it it could be one you're doing live with me the other could be through videos of one of the older batches that is fine as well but please make sure that uh, you give yourself sufficient time to be able to practice on all of this the other thing that you'll notice is looks easy when i'm doing it out here but challenges come in when you practice so when you're attending a live lecture everything looks so oh, nice neat smooth it goes with a specific flow in mind when you try and replicate and practice at your end on your machines you may tend to have challenges and that is where i want you to have a support system where all of us are there and whoever is able to get to the solution quickly to assist you we could be able to also team try and form small learning and project groups if you're learning individually there's a lot of effort that you put in especially when you work with groups the big advantage that comes to you straight away is the fact that uh, you will know where you are not strong on what gaps you need to fill and you could share that with your peers who's good at something they could assist you and you could assist so it becomes much more evolving when you learn things as a group team so that is something that i will work on to distribute you all into maybe two or three groups so you can go about your practice activities on that all right <clears throat> now apart from this the program flow i know a lot of your beginner levels like based on the poll that we've just done i still may want to start with coding core pure java as a programming language is that something that is fine with most of you we will cover every other topic that we go across but if we can do a quick recap of java overall how things work as a programming language and as an object oriented programming system it will become easy for us to move forward with the remaining parts of the automation uh, testing agenda team and as we keep doing we can always keep refreshing our knowledge excuse me. on the same is that something that's fine with your team because even if i have to get to selenium and teach you the automation part i will have to go through the java j unit test ng uh, then get into selenium so if that's fine uh, at day one let's start with java coding maybe we'll take about five sessions to be able to get to a good level in java i wouldn't say an expert level but at least get to understand how the programming system works overall 
and then be able to proceed with um, imp implementing automation frameworks, understanding a lot about tools like Selenium, Cucumber, Karate, working with SCM tools like Git, GitHub, integrating with Jenkins, Docker. That will be a lot of fun team. A uh, lot of exciting stuff that you will be exposed to as you go along. And I have been through this market and industry for a long time team. The good portion of it is that it is most of these tools and technologies that come across, once you learn it in the right way, none of them are rocket science. They're built for simple users who don't have too much of coding or technical expertise. But however, the roles that we take on will require us to have a good control on programming. Uh, even if you may or may not end up doing hardcore framework or programming in your job, you will get asked on the same during your interviews. And that is where I would want you to focus. So any time that we go through this learning, you may find that, okay, you know what, Java is easy. I got a good idea. But I'm now confused on test ng. I got a good idea on Cucumber, but I'm getting confused on Karate. So absolutely do not be harsh on yourself in terms of learning team. Give yourself ample time. Some, some of us may take three hours to learn. The others may take just 30 minutes to learn the same topic. So, but none of these uh, topics can be missed from your perspective. You will have to have them as part of your skill set. All right. So, Question back to you. Are we okay to start with Java programming? Any concerns on that anyone? I will make it easy, don't worry. And plus, from there on, it should be going into automation. We can talk about and we can come back to how it will fit into overall STLC using Jira um, and Agile methodologies uh, through it. Tim, I would love to see your responses either on questions that you have at your end. You're also more than welcome to raise your hand if you would want to be unmuted at any point and have a discussion uh, out here. And let me now put another cold uh, poll team for you so that I understand how much effort are we able to put into this. So what becomes important team with all of this learning, we're saying for the live trainings, it's about an hour and a half every day that you're spending. Plus you're gonna spend about one to two hours of practice and assignment. So that is already something you're gonna put in. If you're doing live projects, that's another one to two hours a day. If you are working on job placements, that basically includes your resume, mock interviews, um, your certifications. That will again take one to two hours a day. So there is effort involved. Team. Um, while a lot of fun in learning these tools and technologies, there is effort that goes from your end. So how much time are you able to spend? Uh, are you very busy and just going to be watching the videos or just going to be attending the program live or watch the videos about an hour? You may not get enough time to practice. That is the other option and that's fine team. But just if you are able to gauge that amount of effort that you are able to put into the program then you can set your goals accordingly so the other option that you have is will be able to attend live and do practice uh, fully committed to the program so choose one of them please so that i can close this poll i've got about 73 percent votes in Java JDK.
All right, team, I've got about 77% votes. That's about it. That's I've received right now. Can I close the poll, please? All right, let me share. Can you all see the results, team? So I see about 24% were fully committed into the program. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it that you're able to put in a lot of time. And I want to make sure that uh, the value for the amount of time that you're putting in should come out in a very positive way. 65% team of you um, are able to attend live and do practice. So I'm I'm glad that that is very important. I don't know how many of you would be able to get a few more hours for project work, but that is definitely helpful. For anyone who's just watching live, absolutely not a problem. All I will request is keep a notepad either on your screen or in person and just jot down those key words that you hear for the first time or something that is interesting that has come up. Uh, that will help you to refresh your memory when you repeat that training and practice at that time. So team, please do note, unless we go through the training, work on practice assignments and prepare our resumes and you know uh, get ready for mock interviews, you will not be able to see a lot of success you have to go through that exact structure and let us not miss anything team. we know exactly what the expectations are what is going to come our way we will need to prepare based on that all right so i've finished that part of the poll i think i just have the last one did i do the expectations no about you i did so, uh, yeah, I think this poll team is a little bit more specific compared to the one that you did earlier. The reason is, again, from a timeline perspective, how many weeks or months do you have? Uh, with job market slowly coming back to some kind of a normalcy, a lot of IT programs and projects that were funded or not funded but are on hold have started back again. So you need to plan accordingly jan may be a great time feb may be a great time to get into the job market are we looking at it from that point of view that awareness bring it to yourself team so again goal setting this is are you looking for a job in very near future or you've got about three months in it or you're not in a hurry for a job the last option of course if you're already in uh, you know in a job then you should be comfortable hopefully there all right i've got about 73 percent votes again a few more votes coming in i'll close this poll please and the reason i'm doing this poll team so you also get to understand who else is participating in this program and that will give you a good demographic also let me share this so mixed about 44 percent are already working uh, and here to specifically improve on the skill sets on certain areas. Um, not in a hurry is about 11% needed job, but about three months is 28%. So for those who are looking for a job urgently team, you will need to maybe uh, do a little over time on preparations, uh, especially uh, the job related. Right from preparing your resume, doing a little bit of mock interviews what are your gaps in your skill sets all this has to be start to be refined so we have to get uh, into that action so please plan accordingly this is a program that will keep going you can get a chance to repeat it over and over uh, till you get a good grip on it so team uh, at this point based on what we are seeing i would be starting my day one mostly tomorrow day after with code java we're gonna go back into the programming concepts coding concepts and then we will come back to uh, the other topics on the automation side 
and what else did I, I spoke about the challenges that we have on the video playlists and how I'm trying to get all of these 2000 odd uh, videos, uh, you know, back into action for us. And about the membership, I will send you an email team on this, depending on who's who. All right, that's about it. I have team. That was a quick one. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I have all the details listed. And I'm open for any questions at this point. If you have a question, you want to be unmuted, please raise your hand, team. You can also use the questions box in the GoToWebinar to be able to interact. Anything else that you wanted to know and you didn't get to hear from me today, uh, please let me know. I usually see a lot of active questions coming in. I'm not seeing much of it in today's session. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Good evening. <laughs> Team, I see no, no questions coming from anyone. So I'm assuming all's good and I will put the video up and send it across as an email. Uh, please respond to that email if there are questions. I'll have someone sit down and go through it then at that point. Um, I have a couple of questions coming in now. I'm okay with Java coding first. All right, sure. Can you please can you record this training? Yes, we will be recording all the sessions. What's the duration of this program and how are you going to divide these subjects? So, like I said, this is going to be for about five to six weeks, Monday to Friday, 6 to 7.30 p.m. We will definitely not have sessions for the prime holidays that we will have in between. The way we are grouping the sessions are based on these topics that we have. And we're going to start with the programming basics and then we'll get into automation fundamentals. And we will then get into the other topics that are advanced into it. That is the flow I'm currently expecting to put into. All right, I'm okay to start with Java. I see that. <clears throat> yes, can I be able to reach out for help if got stuck with ports or other issues? So Kong, uh, yes, the way we can plan is one, we will have a group support. So quickly, one of us within our group can help or you can always bring it into one of our live sessions and you can share your screen, show us where you're stuck and we will guide you. So any challenges that you're facing to your practice assignments, um, you're more than welcome to bring it up team. And that is the reason I've given this as a one and a half hour session rather than one hour. So at least even if I have a 60 minutes of lecture, I can do 30 minutes of Q&A on specific topics that you're stuck on. What are the system requirements to install the tools? So primarily team, if you have a Windows or Mac with a 4 to 8 GB RAM, I would suggest you should be more than enough. But then there are a lot of softwares and tools that we need to install one after the other. So, for example, when we're getting to work with Java, there'll be a couple of softwares that we will install. So, we will go through them, what we need to install when for each of them. And we'll be creating a lot of documents and code uh, through this, these lectures. So, you will be able to ac have access to that as well. Okay, Sri, I'm just looking at your question. Uh, BTEC grad, worked for two years in QA in 2012. After this training, can I apply as fresher and get job? You don't need to apply as fresher. You, if you get a chance to work on a couple of projects with us in the next three, six months, then you could always show that in your profile. 
and you also worked earlier three for two years in QA, right? So that uh, will still be valid. What would happen is yes, you will have a gap, a long gap in between, but that is not uncommon. We see that pretty often in today's market. A lot of individuals have taken career breaks and come back. So it should not be a big challenge. But again, team, what is important is our skill set, resume, how well we are preparing ourselves. Karthik, I am ST, I'm unmuting you. Your hand is raised. Hello. Oh, good morning, sir. Good good evening. Good morning to you. Uh, well, uh, I just wanted to know if this uh, course is suitable for freshers. Also, I'm just uh, graduated out of college. Hmm. Absolutely. And, uh, so, the the reason I say it is suitable for freshers also primarily is because um, the topics and the way they're structured. So you okay. definitely need to learn a few things that you're not exposed to, maybe depending on what you did in your graduation. Yeah, uh, but I'm from a non -IT background, so. Mm. So, and that is the reason I was saying, give yourself two attempts. Okay. One of the fundamental mistake we do is we try it once and then we don't uh, continue our effort. So give it a couple of yeah. attempts of training and going through the same structure. It should never be tough from there. Okay. And uh, after this uh, course completion, uh, is there any certification provided or something? Or any certificate? There will be three certifications, in fact, one for training. The other okay. two are actually for any art project certifications. So okay. when you work on them, you get one for as a any art tester and any art developer. So those okay. are certifications that come across. That's from our end. And okay. if someone is very keen to take up a few more certifications, be it in the agile world or in some of the technical Amazon and so on, there are a lot more available for us. Okay. Sure, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I have a few more questions on the chat team. Let me quickly try and go through. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the topics you're covering a quite huge correct. Are you sure about six weeks would be enough? Good question. Um, if not six, it will be seven, but I don't see any topic in this that I can delete. Because that is the need of the hour for what the industry is asking. So, but I have gone through them myself many many times team have done at least i don't know 50 to 100 batches on these topics so i'm going to concise it in such a way that it will be a little bit more easy for you what becomes important is how much time you're able to spend additionally as well so if not six it will be seven weeks but the topics listed are critical ones Java alone can take whole entire week. That is correct. And framework, API testing are huge. API testing is not huge. API testing is huge if we don't approach it the right way. Otherwise, it's a very, very simple and easy thing to uh, tackle. But yes, we'll have to go through a few sets of tools for it. So each tool does its work. We will go with Postman first, and then we will do it at a Java REST assured level. There'll be a few things, team. Yeah. May I know the price of this course? So, Bartil, depending on if it's the training or if it is a JPAC or if it's lifetime access, the price would vary. I will have it on the email for you, along with the video when you send it across. I'm from finance background, want to switch to IT, is it right step? So Praveen, uh, I've seen a lot of people who switched from even non-finance or non-IT, total different industries into this uh, field. For many decades, almost at least a couple of decades since QA has become prevalent in the IT world, um, 
everyone who wanted to enter IT either thought of going through things like ERPs of SAP, PeopleSoft, Oracle, or you know Salesforce one side, or they went in the direction of being a developer or a database engineer, or they went and chose testing. And software testing has been chosen as a career by most of the individuals who said, you know what, coding is not my cup of tea. But then as it evolved and we evolved through it, um, coding has also become part of what a software test engineer must do. When we talk about manual testing, um, there is very, very um, high supply compared to the demand in the market. So if you get one manual testing position, there may be 500 people will apply for it. But when you get into software test engineering, there is coding and so on that is involved. So earlier, people used to jump into IT via QA because there was no coding involved. Now even developers are making a switch into software testing and using the title of SDEX. Uh, software development engineer in test. So that becomes very uh, something that you need to take a look at. Team, okay. So you are going to learn a lot of things. So, irrespective of what background you've come from, you will see uh, you're getting exposed to a lot of new skills in it. All right, Praveen. So, is it a right step? It is never a wrong step. It is just about, you know, how deep you want to go, how far you want to go. In the good part team with all of this, you can also switch to maybe being someone who's a BA or more like a business analyst, or you could go into uh, some more of DevOps activities where you're constantly working on Jenkins, GitHubs and Amazon, AWS and so on. It, these are the things that you have as an alternate that you could go into. Once you get into the job, you're not going to be working on all of these together, but some flavor of them, whichever your project is uh, going deep into, that is what they'll be choosing. And team, for those of you who need to learn a few more things, for example, let us say Python or C Sharp or uh, database testing, performance testing, and so on. We may not be able to cover all of those in the live program itself, and but you'll have access to all of those content in the video later. Yes, the certification provided are uh, valid to be put on the resume. Yeah. Cool. I see. Mm, did I miss any other questions, anyone? Are we good for now then, team? So I will send you this video also along with the instructions for the next steps. We should be meeting tomorrow or day after, team. Any change or anything that you will see, I will do it via to webinar, so you will get the notifications on it. But otherwise, you'll also get a reminder about the session starting tomorrow or day after. And we're going to go uh, deep dive into coding team. Let's spend three, four days on it. Let's get comfortable with that and then we can move on next. Uh, can we attend a demo class tomorrow? Sure, no problem, team. Take your time, two, three days, just attend the sessions, get a feel of things, what's happening, and then you can get into the membership details. All right, no hurry on that. All right, great. I look forward, everyone, for the next session then. Thank you so much for participating in this one. All the best. Have a great. A uh, wonderful day. Look forward. Bye now. Thank you. Bye all. Thank you.